Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off folders, folders as far as the eye can see. Let's see if any of them are useful to me by looking at them. Are all these patient histories? The whole world must have gone crazy. Either that or a few patients need a lot of folders. Hey, party people. What's up in administration land? These folders aren't very entertaining. I doubt administration land is the most exciting place to be. I certainly wouldn't go to that theme park. Or any theme park, but definitely not one called that. I'd need to know what I'm looking for. That you would. Can we pick them up at random anyway? I'd need to know what I'm looking for. No, we can't. I wish we could just shuffle everything around so everything's in the wrong order, but the game's not going to let us do that. Alas, no mayhem here. Not yet, anyway. What do you think, Harvey? Boring! Not surprising that that's your reaction. Can we hit these with a mallet? There are too many of them. I wouldn't even know where to start my rampage. Just start anywhere. You'll get to the end eventually, probably a lot sooner than you think. There are too many of them. I wouldn't even know where to start my rampage. Again, you can start anywhere you like. Doodle over all of them. In this panel, we see Captain Useless filing his tax form for the IRS. That's probably very complicated. And lengthy. They are so boring. I can't even be bothered inventing a pun for them. They must be really boring then. Let's try and use the mustard on them. There are too many of them. Yeah, you probably would run out of mustard and ketchup before you were done. Shouldn't use the ketchup on them. Gonna use the police badge, though. They are so boring. And we can't even get a pun with the police badge. What about the pot? They are so... Nothing with the pot? What about the paper cup? It's your time to shine. They are so... Nope. Not your time to shine at all. What about the key? They are so... Nothing with the key. The form? They are so... We're not going to get anything out of these, and I imagine these and these here have exactly the same dialogue. Are all these patient histories? The whole world must have gone crazy. Exactly the same. Which leaves this folder cabinet. A compact file cabinet for suspension folders. Now why is this here when there's all of this? Only one thing comes to mind, and that is that this is used so that you can reference things here. Either that, or this is here as just a curious oddity. It's likely the former. How's it hanging, suspension folders? They're not feeling talkative. We can open it, though. But before we do anything with them, it's time to use all our inventory items on them, because why not? Shall we play file switching, Harvey? Oh, we used to play that a lot. But I don't think it'd be as much fun without Alfred and a lawnmower. I'm very confused as to how you played that game. Let's ruin everything. I'll leave it to the onion creatures to sort the files. Onion creatures? They come sailing in on their ship at night to ticket your tax documents. Ah, that explains why your dad always cried when he got mail from the IRS. No, I think he probably cried for a very different reason. Also, onion people? Captain Useless doesn't need any files or other paperwork, except the gas pump bills for his hogmobile. He can deduct those from his income tax. Surely he needs to use forms to get that deduction, though. There are holes in this story developing already. I knew this wouldn't be a watertight comic. What do you think, Harvey? Do we file the potholders under P for pot or H for holders? How about under I, like in I couldn't care less? I'm afraid there isn't an I in that word, so no can do. Let's see. Hmm, no entry under F for food poisoning. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's see about using the police badge. Nope, I'm on patrol duty today. Fair enough. What about the pot? Finally, let the pot sit for a couple of minutes in the file cabinet. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Done. What are you trying to cook? 
By the way, that was awesome. I'll file it under D for dispensable. Right in front of Holger's registration for electroencephalography. We've lost the cup, haven't we? No, we still have the cup. Marvelous. I did not want to go all the way back upstairs to go and get it, but I would have done if I had to. I would have done. No. Classified documents are kept elsewhere. Fair enough. Let's open this up and use the final items, like the knife and fork. Look, Harvey. I've invented a new form of hole punch. You can make four holes at the same time. That's almost as practical as it is boring. Almost being the important part. I was about to say that almost was the important part. You're stealing my lines, Harvey. Stop stealing my lines. Shall we play document shredder, Harvey? Let's see. What do we need? Oh, yeah. A sledgehammer, a garbage press. Um, wait a second. I thought... A chainsaw, a barrel of kerosene, napalm... Ah, too many things. Couldn't we just use the knife? I know it's not as explosive and dramatic, but it's something we have. Okay, no file shredder for us. I'll file it under M for minerals. And I imagine it's gone? Yep, it's gone. And now it's back. Finally, before we decide to pick these up, let's put the form in there. Maybe that's where it belongs. It doesn't have to be filed yet. It's still blank. Fair enough. Let's pick these up. There's a line that's not there again. Can we use them now that it's open? We can close it, but can we look at them now that it's open? Let's see. Just another load of files. Hey, this looks useful. There's a list of the current inmates. It shows where I can find their corresponding patient histories. I seem to know some of the names. Well, normally I don't care much about files, but snooping around in other people's patient histories is so delightfully prohibited. So, whose patient history shall I look at? Ooh, we have a list. And here are some of the people that are in here with us. B-Man, Adrian, King of the Lounge, Peter, Hoti and Drogglejug. Drogglejug we're saving for last, I think. Let's start with B-Man. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, B-Man. First pet, black pony. Characteristic, was always chosen first during physical education lessons. That's all. That's it? You would expect there to be a lot more. That really didn't teach us very much, apart from the fact that he probably likes bees. Let's look at Adrian now. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, Adrian, king of the recreation room. First pet, red cat. Characteristic, was always chosen second during physical education lessons. That's all. There's going to be something about the order that they were picked in physical education lessons, isn't there? That's going to be a puzzle. Also, I like that she went somewhere else in the room to read that file. A nice touch. Let's now check out Peter. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, Peter. First pet, Blue Goldfish. Characteristic. Was always chosen next to last during physical education lessons. That's all. Oh, is the color of the pet going to be important as well? That's going to be important as well, isn't it? I have that sinking feeling it's going to be used for a puzzle. Let's look at Hoti now. All the way back there. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, Hottie. First pet, yellow rat. Characteristic, was always chosen last during physical education lesson. That's all. Ah, Hottie, not Hottie. My mistake. And finally, let's look at Drogglejug. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, Drogglejug. 
first pet, green dog. Characteristic, was always chosen third during physical education lessons. That's all. Hmm, curious. Let's leave and go into the final room that is marked with a warning, do not go in here. Which of course means we're going to go in here. Ooh, we found the furnace. We've also found a ladder. And lots of things that we can look at, like this valve. This valve supposedly whistles when the boiler is about to explode. That way, you know what killed you. Personally, I'd rather not be there when it whistles. That way you don't get killed. I can very well relate to how you feel, little pressure valve. That you can. Let's try and use it. This valve supposedly whistles when the boiler is about to explode. That way? We've heard that one. Can we take it? I don't need that as a pressure valve. I use rebelliousness and vandalism to let off steam. Oh, that you do. Harvey, what do you think about it? Look, Harvey, an excess pressure valve. Hey, I've got plenty of those. The first is my blind lust for destruction. What's the second? You're probably not going to tell us. Can we smash it? Let's actually try and smash it last, because that might work. Hmm, still overpressurized. Quickly, let's scribble on something! Good plan, but not just yet. In this panel, we see the pot is boiling over, even though Captain Useless is watching it. Now there's a paradox that nobody can ever solve. You just try. Bet you can't. Hmm, still overpressurized. Quickly, let's spill something piping hot over defenseless insects. Oh, is this going to be like the um, pictures, in that using items on this will have a different line from Harvey? Hmm, still overpressurized. Quickly, let's stain something with mustard. Yep, it's going to be just like that. Ketchup? Hmm, still overpressurized. Quickly, let's smother something with ketchup. I know a few people that smother all their food with ketchup. I'm surprised they taste anything other than the ketchup. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's employ excessive force. Let's not. Let's instead use a pot. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's bring something to boil. Now I have a question, folks. If we use the paper cup, will it still be overpressurized? Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's pollute the environment. Let's not do that either. Let's instead use the key. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's kick in a few doors. If there's one thing we haven't done yet in this game, it's kick in doors. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's poke something. With a fork? That'd be quite painful for whoever we're poking. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's cut something. Let's not. There are quite a few things here where the reaction is, let's not. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's hoof something. Okay, I don't understand that one. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's tear something. I understand that one. Let's examine the manometer. I thought it would just be a dial. There's a lot of pressure in the boiler. We should clearly make this go far too high in pressure. Don't know how, though. Fire up the boiler. Aye, aye, ma'am. I think it's already pretty fired up. There's a lot of pressure in the boiler. That there is. Can we take the pressure? Too bad. I can't break that off. I really would have loved one of those. Oh, I forgot to use the polo mallet. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's knock something over. There's nothing here to knock over unless you're going to try and knock over the boiler. Good luck with that. Look, Harvey. You measure the pressure in the tank with this. I personally don't need such a thing. I know I'm always under pressure. That you do. Also, you say. Hmm. Still overpressurized. Quickly, let's scribble on something! 
Okay, that's the same. So let's look at the maintenance controls. Only trained heating engineers can handle these. Well, clearly you're a trained heating engineer. You'll be fine. You like to control others, don't you? I despise you maintenance controls. What did the maintenance controls ever do to you? It's a very mean way to say hello. Only trained heating engineers can handle that's the same. Can we take these? I can do quite well without even more control from the outside. Fair enough. Harvey? What do you make of it, Harvey? We don't need all that. I've got everything under control. You think? Sure! Trust me. We've been doing that since the very beginning, and to be fair, it's got us quite far. Hmm. It's quickly! And that's exactly the same. Let's look at the grate. There's nothing over there that we can uh, do anything with. We can't do anything with the light. I thought something was highlighted there, but it was just the passageway thing that I was misreading as light. You know when that happens. Misread the word passage as light. Happens all the time. A true inferno. Indeed. Let's have a conversation with the inferno. This is going to go well. Satan? Beelzebub? Mephistopheles? Isn't anybody home? Nobody's home. Ooh, we can open it. And we can close it. Can we pick it up? I can't detach that. No, you can't. Never. Harvey is my best friend. Indeed. I was more expecting that you'd say something about it rather than put Harvey in there. They call her Flaming Pen. She could reduce whole libraries to rubble with a single stroke of an apostrophe. That is a powerful artifact indeed that you hold. I actually want to save right now, just in case we end up throwing something away that's invaluable. Yes, I'm referring to the paper cup. I know the paper cup is going to end up burnt up in that thing. It will. It will. Okay, what about the pot holder? Okay, we can use the potholder to open it, but can we put the potholder in there? No, we can only use it to open or close it. To be fair, that's kind of its purpose, to protect you from the heat. In this panel, we see Captain Useless's cape catching fire! No capes. It's never a good idea to have capes. Mmm, burnt mustard. Yummy. I have no idea what that smells like. Probably not great. Mmm, burnt ketchup. Yummy. Let's see if we can use the police badge here. Sheriff Conrad tinkered with the idea of giving up her job completely. She would throw her badge into the flames here and now. But then, she thought about all those unsolved crimes. All those innocent victims out there. And the free donuts in a headquarters cafeteria. And for the thousandth time this week alone, she pulled herself together. We're not getting rid of that. What about the pot? The pot is the right size for the boiler. But something is still missing. Hmm, what is missing? Not gonna use that yet. Let's forge a harpoon from the old key. But I don't have a forging hammer. A real whaler forges his harpoons with his own bare hands. A real whaler has a beard in most cases and a tattoo as well. So let's find a barber shop and a tattoo parlor, quick! And they also probably don't have hands because they'll have burnt away. I have a knife, I have a fork. All I need now is a good 12 ounce steak and some candlelight. I could go for a 12 ounce steak right now. That'd be quite tasty. I have an olive. And that's the same. What about the toenail? This is one of those rare occasions in life where a toenail doesn't help. Mmm. Smells like Christmas. You have some very strange Christmases, Edna. Very strange. Form? I better not burn this. Good plan. And finally, paper cup. You're right. The only thing you can do with this is burn it. Hmm, not even the flames will take it. But we still don't have it. Right, time to go back. 
and get another paper cup. It'll be worth it. We'll find the use for that paper cup. We've put it practically everywhere. We've hidden it in all kinds of places. We've even burnt it. But there will be a use for it. Besides, we can see just how many screens we've gone by. We've gone by quite a few. There are probably still many more. But it's been a while since we've been in here. And while we're in here, why don't we try and give him the form? Can you sign this admission to therapy for me? I may be your babysitter, but I'm sure as heck not your shrink. Only Dr. Marcel has the authority to sign patients up for therapy. Interesting. I didn't think there'd be a, uh, specific reaction there. Good thing I checked. This one is as soaked and filthy as the last one. And I bet it's just as useless, too. We'll see about that, Edna. We'll see. And so, when we come back, folks, there's one more place that we can go in that basement area. And that is down the ladder by the furnace. There might be something awesome down there. Or more likely, there's going to be nothing especially awesome down there. Save another way to get rid of our paper cup. But we'll never part with the paper cup willingly. Okay, we parted with it willingly many times. But we'll always go back and pick it up. And then there'll be the time when we leave the area where we can pick up paper cups, and we'll have to be really careful with it. Oh, we'll have to be so careful. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. We should probably close that. It's getting quite hot in here, I imagine. Much better. Or at least, very slightly better. Later.